I sighed as I looked at myself in the mirror. The reflection staring back at me was that of a boy named Alex, dressed like a girl in a beautiful, but overly frilly dress chosen by my Aunt Martha. She always had a knack for picking out the most extravagant outfits, complete with petticoats and lace, which drew a lot of attention I didn't want. It had been a while since I was allowed to wear normal girls' clothes, like simple dresses and skirts, not the super frilly ones I was wearing now. Aunt Martha had made it clear that as long as my behavior didn't improve, I was stuck in these elaborate outfits. She believed that this transformation was for my own good, and in some strange way, I had accepted my fate. I longed to go back to being a boy, to wear pants and t-shirts, and to blend in with the other kids. But deep down, I knew that wasn't an option. Aunt Martha had made it clear that this was how things would be, and I didn't want to disappoint her any further. Sighing again, I adjusted the frills on my dress and tried to gather my composure. If I wanted to change my wardrobe, I had to change my behavior. Perhaps if I could show Aunt Martha that I could behave like a proper young lady, she would let me wear clothes that didn't draw so much attention. I made a silent promise to myself, vowing to be on my best behavior. I didn't know if I'd ever truly feel comfortable in a dress, but I hoped that one day, I could at least wear something simpler and more casual, like a skirt and blouse, just like the other girls. Until then, I'd have to navigate this world of frills and lace, doing my best to fit in and avoid the spotlight. Life as Alex in Aunt Martha's care was a series of lessons in proper behavior and ladylike manners. I learned to sit with my legs together, to curtsy when someone offered a compliment, and to speak softly and politely. It was a constant challenge, but I was determined to prove to Aunt Martha that I could be a well-behaved young lady. As weeks turned into months, I could see some progress. Aunt Martha seemed pleased with my efforts. She began to let me wear dresses that were slightly less extravagant, with fewer ruffles and a bit more practicality. These were small victories that fueled my determination to continue improving my behavior. I also noticed that the attention I received from others began to lessen. The kids at school, while initially taken aback by my frilly outfits, had slowly grown used to the sight of me in dresses. They realized that I was still the same person inside, even if my appearance had changed. I wasn't drawing as many curious stares or teasing remarks as before, which was a relief. One day, as I walked into Aunt Martha's room wearing a less ostentatious skirt and blouse, she smiled warmly and said, Alex, you've come a long way. I'm proud of how you've been behaving lately. Her words filled me with a sense of accomplishment. It was a turning point in our relationship. Aunt Martha saw my effort, and I saw her willingness to meet me halfway. She allowed me to wear more casual girls' clothes, and while I was far from feeling completely comfortable, I felt like I was making progress. Perhaps one day, I could truly blend in and not draw any extra attention. For now, I was content with the thought that I was one step closer to wearing the clothes I longed for, and that maybe, just maybe, I was slowly finding my place in this new life.